All right, let's go ahead and set up our player um, so that way it can be ready to play with collisions and using the 2D rigid body. So for right now, we have this idle here, and this is not necessarily going to be the full on player. So what I need to do is just go get a still version of the player and then start working on that. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete that. And then I am going to go to sprites. I'm going to go to player. I'm going to go to night and I'm going to find the idle position. So I'm going to drag this idle position here, put it inside my scene, and I'm going to shrink this down here, something like that. And then I'm going to change this from idle to player. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this player and over here at the tags, I'm going to change that to player. Now I'm going to go from uh, the players inside the knights. I'm going to want to create a prefabs folder inside of here. So I'm going to create a folder prefab. I can probably put an S on that. And I'm going to drag this player into the prefabs when I'm done. But first, let me go ahead and put some colliders on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and put a collider on this pre ground prefab first. So I'm going to select the ground prefab. I'm going to go to add and I'm going to add a collider, box collider 2D. And you'll see the box collider 2D over here. We need to edit that. So we're going to go here to the edit collider and then we'll pull these little boxes on the edges over. All right, so now that we have that, he has something to land on. We can go ahead and select our player. And then we're also going to add a box collider 2D. And then we can see this box collider. So I'm going to go ahead and select that box collider. It covers the whole body. And basically all I want it to do is cover just the head. So I'm going to... I'm going to take this background and I'm going to make it invisible so I, that way I can see the box collider. And I'm going to edit it. I just want it over the head mostly. So something like that is good. The next thing I'm going to do, once I'm done with that box collider, I'm going to go ahead and add another collider to this and that's going to be a circle. Circle 2D. I'm going to add that Circle 2D and then I'm going to edit it. And that's going to be where the feet are. But I'm going to hold down Alt and drag it so it, it shrinks on all the sides. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it on the Y. I'm going to bring it down here and about there. Right at the bottom of the feet. Maybe I can shrink it just a little more. Something like that. And the final thing I'm going to add on this is I'm going to go ahead and add a rigid body 2D. So that way it's affected by gravity. So let's call it rigid body 2D right here. And I'm going to add that there. Now, just with these set, you'll see once I play this game, the character falls and he rolls. So obviously that's not what we intended. So I'm going to select the, the player. Then I'm going to go to the rigid body 2D. I'm going to go down to the constraints. And I'm going to constrain it to the Z axis right here. So that way when it falls, it won't flop around. So now you can see my character doesn't flop around. Even if I were to, I'm going to push this over here. If I were to take this player inside of my scene and I were to push the player up, you'll see it just falls straight down perfect now the final thing we want to do is add um we want to add a material to our collider so when i select my player I'll, i want to add a material to this collider here this circle collider and you see there's a material missing thing here that i can add and so i'm going to go over to my assets and i'm going to create a material folder create folder 
I'm gonna double click in there and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create myself a material physics material 2D and I'm gonna call this um, low friction and then I'm gonna select that material and then go here and put that to one then I select my player and I'm gonna place that material right inside of here um, all right so I'll see you guys in the next video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below make sure you subscribe make sure you share the video I'll talk to you guys later.